Imagine you're at a party. You've got a mere 30 seconds to pique someone's interest. What do you say? This scenario is not unlike the challenge you face when crafting the introduction to your content. It's your first, and potentially only, chance to captivate your audience. To make a lasting impression, one effective strategy is to share a personal story. This approach can immediately establish a connection with your audience, making them more invested in what you have to say. Next, don't underestimate the power of visuals. They can instantly grab attention and aid in illustrating your point vividly. Lastly, consider asking provocative questions. This tactic can stimulate curiosity and encourage your audience to stick around for the answers. Remember, the goal is to draw your audience into your world, to make them care about what you have to say. Your introduction is your first impression. Make it count. We've all heard it before. Content is king. But what does that really mean? Essentially, it's about crafting content that resonates with your audience. This isn't just about what you want to say, but what your audience needs and prefers to hear. The cornerstone of this process is research. Understanding your audience, their interests, their challenges, their desires, can help you create content that truly speaks to them. Balancing your content's emotional and informational appeal is another crucial aspect. You want your audience to feel something, whether it's joy, intrigue, or empathy, while also providing them with valuable insights or knowledge. And let's not forget the power of storytelling. A well-constructed narrative can transform a simple piece of content into a compelling journey that captivates your audience from beginning to end. Adapting your tone and language to your intended audience is also vital. This ensures your message is not only heard but understood. Remember, resonating with your audience is key to creating impactful content. One size doesn't fit all, the same goes for your content. You see, the key to engaging content is making it digestible for your audience. Let's face it, complex terms can be a mouthful and a mind-boggler. So, why not break them down? Use simple language, make them relatable, and voila! You've got yourself an engaged audience. But wait, there's more! Visuals and analogies are your secret weapons. They say a picture speaks a thousand words. And it's true. Visuals can help make figures and concepts easier to grasp. Analogies, on the other hand, can bridge gaps in understanding, making the unfamiliar familiar. And let's not forget the power of personalization. Content that resonates on a local and immediate level can make your audience feel seen and heard. It's about making it relevant to them, whether it's referencing a popular local event or addressing a pressing community issue. Adapting your content to your audience is not a choice, it's a necessity. So, gear up and let's make your content shine. And content isn't about throwing information at your audience, it's about guiding them through a journey. As you navigate the content creation process, it's crucial to remember this. Consider using content previews. These are like appetizers, giving your viewers a taste of what's to come. They build anticipation and keep your audience hooked. Summaries also play a vital role. They reinforce key messages, making them more memorable. Think of them as the aftertaste of a delicious meal lingering and reminding your audience of the feast they've just enjoyed. Now, let's talk signposting. It's your roadmap to clear content. It helps your audience understand where they are, where they've been, and where they're going. It's the compass that keeps them on track. And finally, transitions. They're the glue that binds your content together, ensuring a smooth and seamless journey. They help maintain continuity, keeping your audience engaged and focused. Guide your audience, don't lose them. A monologue can get boring. Turn your content into a dialogue. Now let's dive into the exciting world of interactivity and engagement. How do we transform passive viewers into active participants? Well, one strategy is to encourage reader participation through questions and discussions. Make your content a platform for conversation, not just a one-way lecture. Another powerful tool is user-generated content. It not only deepens engagement, but also builds a sense of community and ownership among your audience. Think about it. Who wouldn't want to see their own ideas reflected in the content they consume? Now to keep the interest alive, consider integrating contests and giveaways into your content. A little competition never hurt anyone, right? It adds an element of fun and anticipation, maintaining audience interest. And let's not forget about the impact of multimedia elements. Videos, audio clips, interactive infographics, clickable content, they all enrich the content experience making it more dynamic and engaging. Engagement is a two-way street. Keep the conversation going. Numbers don't lie, but can you read them? The unseen power behind your content's performance lies in analytics. It's like the pulse of your content, constantly sending signals about its health and vitality. So how do we tune in? 
tools. They help us monitor content performance and user behavior. They're like stethoscopes listening to the heartbeat of our content and telling us if it's strong, weak, or in between. But it's not just about listening, it's about acting. We adjust our content strategies based on these analytic insights, tweaking here, refining there, always aiming for a stronger pulse. This is where A-B testing steps in, like a scientific experiment for your content. It helps you refine, choose the best, and ditch the rest. And let's not forget SEO practices. They're like the gym workouts for your content, strengthening it to align with audience engagement goals. Remember, optimize your content, optimize your success. The end is just as important as the beginning. So, how do we wrap it all up? Let's start by crafting a memorable summary. This isn't about a simple recap, but echoing the core message, resonating the essence of your content in a way that sticks. Next, consider issuing a final challenge or outlook. This could be a thought-provoking question, a call to action, or a prediction about the future. It's about leaving something in the minds of your audience that keeps your content alive even after the video ends. Don't forget to reiterate key takeaways. Reinforce your content objectives by reminding your audience about the most valuable points. But remember, this isn't about new information. It's about reinforcing what's already been said. Lastly, create actionable final thoughts. Inspire your audience, motivate them, give them something they can do or think about. Leave your audience with something to remember, something to do, and something to look forward to.